Long loading time. Jeez. For this? I thought that was going to be the Final Fantasy VII uh, boss battle music. Well, it's finally here. It quietly dropped on the Nintendo Switch. It's uh, Advance Wars, finally. A new Advance Wars game, everybody. Oh wait, it's an old Advance Wars game. I, I like the animation here. Um, I think it fits. I mean, we can talk about the visual style when, you know, we get into the game. Um, my excitement for this game has gone down a little bit, partially because of the delay, partially because there's just not enough new things. The art style didn't kill me when I first saw the game, but I've... You know, the more I look at it, I'm just like, yeah, it's fine. It's, it's fine. But, uh, we'll talk about Advance Wars, because I love Advance Wars. And it's just nice to have the series back, but I, I think... We, you know, it would be nice to get new Advance Wars as well. She, she's moving. She's moving. My name's now. I'm a CO in the Orange Star Army. Say, is this your first time playing Advance Wars? No! Oh, it's good to see you back. One of my jobs is to provide lessons on how to play the game. I also offer strategic advice along the way. This is one of those weird cases of we only get some voice acting. Might show you a thing or two you didn't know. Versus is for multiplayer. You can play together with friends on one Nintendo Switch console. You can also play wirelessly with multiple consoles. Only two players, though, online, if I'm not mistaken. War Room, Hachi Shop, Gallery, um, there is, this is always fun, the custom map creator. Oh, you can't just choose between, uh, one and two from the start? Oh, okay. Uh. You can? You can choose two, but it warns you? Wait, really? Oh, yeah. It may reveal secrets of the Advance Wars campaign. See, now that is actually a good message. I, I respect that. We're going to do classic. Okay, so, um, world map looks good. As I get into combat, I'll tell you a little bit about my, uh, Advance Wars experience. And, um, I, I basically have played all of them. Well, at least the ones from this one on, you know, not like Famicom Wars or anything, but... Chibi heads. But, like, I see the cardboard, and it looks neat and everything, but, man, that pixel art was so good. It's like, I understand that they wanted to do, like, a, a fresh coat of paint for the Switch and make it more appealing. And also, it's, it's you know, it's a reboot. But, yeah, there, there's definitely a part of me that is going to miss the pixel art. Also, is the game too loud? Can you guys hear me all right? I'm not going to be reading this stuff out loud. But you, you move your units, and then you can shoot. Nice work. I'll lower the game a little bit. 
Someone said it kind of looks like a mobile game now. Um, the ultimate insult. <laughs> You know what? A little bit. I do think it's it's better looking than that. Like there's there's a little bit more going on. <laughs> oh no! Someone said the switch is mobile. I I oh god. I wonder if anyone would would want to cut the commercial into a mobile game. Uh, ad like we see on Sundays. Commander. 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 Blown the fuck out. Yeah, I can just see it now. Like, like, um, I see soldiers getting like kicked out of their homes. I see, um, like, th they're trying to get a makeover. In the commercial, Are I see foot fungus. How have you been, Vin? I've been well, thank you. Just the allergies have been going off a little bit. Not not a fan of those, but... I'm like... My, uh... My head's been a little bit... Not great. But... I'm okay. Infantry may not be able to defeat a mech unit in direct combat, so you want to use terrain to your advantage. So, I guess if you've never played Advance Wars, this is really helpful. But, yeah, you capture cities by going like this and stomping on them. Which... You know what? Some of these things worked fine on the GBA with pixel art, and I understand why they would go for a chibi style, because it's, it's not supposed to be the most serious war game. But it looks really wacky to me. It's just wacky. So the mech units don't move as far. They're good against um, tanks and stuff. Nice. Nice. Hey, want to hear a tip? Did I just hear like crackles? You can speed things up by holding ZR. Oh, that, that is helpful. Sadly, I usually end up turning the attack animations off anyway. Like, look, look. That's like a second and a half. That's unacceptable. but I will leave them on. Right, so uh, the terrain has defensive cover, so you can see that's got four defense. Huh, that's weird. My, my TV is cutting off some of this. Chat. How do I fix that? I just, I notice it now. I see that the, um... User selection, um, original. Let's see, original. No. Aspect ratio. What the fuck is going on with my TV lately? Just scan on. Okay, I turned that on and it fixed it. Just scan. Whatever. I had it on auto and it just didn't work, so. So, yeah, terrain is very important in Advance Wars and is worth paying attention to. So, uh, if you're on a mountain, and you attack a unit on the plains, you will be, um, a little more powerful. Uh, I like the music in this game a lot, too. Yeah, that- that run animation is just so... I, I hate to say it, it's just so cheap-looking. And I was, like, kind of a defender of this game's visual style, like, early on. 
and I still don't think it's bad. It's not bad, it's just... I don't... I just don't think it's better than the pixel art. Another thing. Movement costs differ between units, right? So, mech units, um, like I said before, are slower. So we're gonna stop on this city and capture it like Burger King foot lettuce. Let's attack the enemy mech instead. Okay, so it's gonna do 30% damage, which isn't a whole lot. But it's- this is just tutorial stuff, so... At least the city looks nice. The terrain looks good. I remember thinking in the trailers the tanks looked nice, too. Listen, chat member, I, I see every time you're here, you, you try real hard to get a response out of me, and I'm sorry to call you out like this. Just as chat etiquette, just so you know, please try not to repeat your questions over and over and over again until I answer them. It's... It's just a frustrating thing as a streamer to see the same question and chat from the same chat member over and over again. You could always email me, or you could just let it go into the wind, like piss in the wind, and just say, you know what? He didn't see it. I will... I will just be okay with that. And I, again, I apologize for, for having to call you out like that. I don't, I don't mean to uh, shit in your punch bowl. That one troop is hanging on. Chat, didn't the infantry units have slightly different looks in the original? Like, their helmets were a little different. Mr. Woods! Did you know the dolphin? He is dead. Okay, so, uh, this is all tutorial stuff, so we're gonna go through this kind of quick. But, um, I like Advance Wars even more than Fire Emblem, or at least I have traditionally, and I like Fire Emblem pretty well, like, especially Awakening. Um, but Advance Wars was... just a game I played an endless amount of. My favorite was Dual Strike. Days of Ruin was good. Um, one and two obviously were great in their own ways, but... The tank won't have a chance to recover if we can't stop the enemy tanks from reaching it. So we gotta combine tanks. Building a defensive wall, right? So you, you, we're gonna block... Um, I liked Wargroove, but something about it just felt- I think it was the AI, we talked about this too. But something about that game's AI just made it less playable than Advance Wars for me. It just got, like, levels got really tedious. I really wanted to like Wargroove, and I did, but I didn't love it. And I know there's a sequel coming out, I'm not opposed to it, but, um... So these NPCs can fuel... Hold on. Oh, okay, you want this one. Um, these NPC... Uh, APCs... Whoa! Can fuel... Um, units when they're out of ammo. Great job. Okay, so these... Oh, we can just fire here. Alright, so... Yeah, these have some range.
chat, they don't have different helmets. This game is 0 out of 10. Okay, so if you capture enemy HQ, you win. But, in order to get there somewhat quickly, you can do this. Yes! Right? You bring your APC over there, and then you can drop off your unit on the building. And then next turn, you can start capturing. Also, what a horrible spot for that building. Then yeah, I have the option of buying a Nintendo VS arcade machine or two orange amps. What should I do? Yeah, you should buy two orange amps and, and uh, send your, your old pal Mr. Dink, I mean Vin, uh, one of the orange amps. That was the wrong fire radius. Hang on, we're... Well, it should have worked. It's weird it didn't. Happiest war game. <laughs> yeah! It's a good thing this game didn't come out last year. There would have been outrage in the streets of London. To me, the weirdest thing is that the original Advance Wars came out, like, what, two days before 9-11? Because I got this Christmas of 2001. I remember that, and I got, like, really addicted to it. Congratulations! Literally the day before, yeah. Skirmishes between two neighboring countries, Orange Star and Blue Moon, were thought to have been merely stories of the past. That is, until the day Blue Moon attacked without warning. Vine, he will guide the commanding officers of Orange Star in defending their territory to fight to uncover the motive behind the sudden ambush. Our story now begins with Nell, Commander-in-Chief of Orange Star. She trains a new recruit. Wake up, Link. I mean, Andy. Oh, uh, I'm up. What's the drill this time? Is that Ash Pokemon? Voice. <sighs> it's that madman Olaf. That is, I mean, it's the Commander-in-Chief of Blue Moon. Our intel indicates he's ordered an invasion of Orange Star. Blue Moon? Hmm. I thought they were through being the bad. Why does Andy sound like he's 12? Yeah, there's child soldiers in the Advance Wars, uh, universe, apparently. It's a good thing they delayed this a year. He's like 14. <laughs> we assigned a recon team to investigate, and they just sent word that Blue Moon now holds Coral Fortress. We can't afford to lose that territory. Right on! I finally get to do something! I'm gonna lead the way and save the day! Can't wait to see some action! Oh, no you don't. Not yet. Anyway... You need to listen and learn first. Our top priority is rescuing Coral Fortress for Orange Star. Watch closely, okay? Oh boy! I can't wait to mow down some soldiers! Hey! Got any drones? Uh. 
A medium tank, Olaf means business, even with all of our units. We'll need an airtight strategy to win. Okay. I get it. We need a strategy, a really good strategy. Do you need What's a strategy? Wow, you're a child soldier commander in this army, and you don't know what the word strategy means. <laughs> nah, it was just job. <laughs> Every battle is different. There's more than one way to win. Yeah, yeah. Well, music is nice. Always loved Advance Wars music. And you know what? This was a bad move. My first move was a shit move. But, you know, I'm in the city. It's okay. So we're gonna drop a unit off there. Did you ever drop a unit off at the pool? Right? Like, after a, an intense night of, like, dominoes. Huh? So the Orange Star Army is launching a counterattack. Couldn't afford the rest of the line. Uh <laughs> I see you failed to notice my new weapon, Nell. You'll soon tremble before the power of the mightiest ground forces. Can we stop this trend in video games where they voice one line or half the line? Like, the voice actors are good. Give them work. They want to work. Pay them. Give them, give them good work. Oh, right, you can't attack in the same turn. Right, 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 I remember now this vehicle. Chat, the vehicle. I get it. to capture cities right now? Probably not. There's no reason, because, yeah, we can't, like... Uh, we can't make any new units, so the goal here is just, you know, kill and survive. The fast forward feature is nice. This is gonna suck. Also, they have different hats, chat. You can see that the hats are different. Look, look. So, I mean... They, they even look vaguely Russian. Well, never mind. They have different hats and faces. I see what they're trying to do. <laughs> it's a little weird, but excellent. My CO power is ready. All right, Andy, this is a real teaching moment, so listen up. CO power meter is at the top corner of the screen. The meter fills up gradually over the course of any battle. When it fills up completely, it will start flashing. That means it's good to go! Activate it by selecting no. the power. Now I'm confused! Where exactly does the CO power come from? Well, it comes from inside you, of course. The exhilaration of battle kindles the flame of our special abilities. When that fire ignites, one's true talent can be unleashed. Huh? A talented fire? But how does that... Never mind. Okay, then. I'm ready to select power from the map menu and send Olaf's troops packing. The Chad Nell versus the Virgin Andy. You gotta just charge the CO crystals.
Now my units are lucky, that means they have a greater chance of dealing high damage in battle. Every CO is different. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Maximum luck. Just this, this tank here is quite annoying. We're not gonna be able to capture this building, so I'm gonna go for a tank kill. Nice. Now we can try to capture it, even though there's no need really, but that's fine. We're gonna put that unit there to wait. Rivers have the least amount of defense. But we're just we're just fucking mowing them down because of the CO power. Did you notice that the blue guys have PPSHs? <laughs> no. Let's see. Oh yeah, they do. They have like some bastardized form of it versus just like M16s. about now that was a good course of action I think this will not be however so we're not gonna do that tanks don't go against mechs very well so we'll we'll just not do that Didn't I mention the name Olaf last night, chat, while I was streaming? What was the context? Was he dropping loads? He was? Yeah, I figured it was something like that. Excellent! Last night's bot isn't up, so I haven't seen it. I'm sorry. They fucking Twitch in their copyright bullshit. And the thing is, it's not even just Twitch, but I get that they're just... Listen, I have my criticisms of Twitch. I've got plenty. In this case, it's just DMCA. And it's really quite annoying. And, um... Like I said, even if I didn't play copyrighted music, any random thing in any random game would trigger that. It would just happen anyway. Crickets. Crickets can be copyrighted. Someone can upload, like, um, a mumble rap version of a Donkey Kong song. Then your VOD is just muted, and then auto-publish is turned off. So why even, like, try anymore? Why even try? Um, forget about playing any GTA game, or uh, a game like Roadkill. Remember Roadkill? Wow. Apparently, Roadkill was blocked in Russia because of Blue Oyster Cult. That Blue Oyster Cult song in there. So that, that, that happened. by a uh, APC. So 
okay. It's a, it's a sacrifice. It's, it's a worthy sacrifice. That medium tank is a little bit scary, though. It is a little scary. I would probably need to use a mech on that thing to really destroy it. And um, I lost my uh, thing there, the long range thing thing. I'm just going to hope that it doesn't attack the mech. Winter power. Shit, chat. That's not good. That's bad. That's really bad. I might- I may lose mission number one. So in the winter, you can only move a little bit. I fell for the classic blunder. I did, yeah, the medium t Fuck! Don't worry, I'll capture the city, and then that'll be great. Dude, let, let me just keep going for that. For some reason. For some unknown reason. Oh, oh man, I'm so screwed. Why did I do that? Blunder of the century. basically handed your artillery to him on a silver platter, chose not to, to attack for whatever reason. I know! And I'm like an Advance Wars uh, fan. Self-proclaimed. Imagine that. I kind of still think it could be done, though, chat. It literally cannot? No, 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 I think it can. Uh-oh. Mech's only got three rockets. If that mech recovers health, I can do- the Chat, it's gonna be amazing. This is gonna be the best first mission ever. I'm gonna recover from this. It's not a blunder. It's a funder. Because it's fun. And we're gonna- And we're friends. need to get that mech over there to heal. Don't do it. Oh, 
Perhaps he... Hmm. I need to recover this tank to full, and then I can... We can win this. Shit! We're gonna do this, chat. We're gonna do this. Oh. Oh. Yeah, attack. Attack one of them on their base. You can't do it! You can't do it! How did I fail the first mission? Oh wait, no, no, not end turn. I wanted to quit. Yeah, I played a lot of Advance Wars. Years of it, in fact. Years of it. Let's try again. No, don't explain. I no, I got this. I you please. I got it. I had it last time. I just. You need to create a meat wall. I'll, I'll create a meat wall, don't worry. This is gonna be a very short victory. Like, yeah, I'm gonna do this so quickly this time. Meaning I'm going to fast forward a lot. Ah, oh, you, you fell right into it. Yeah. How about that shit? Foolish. And then the medium tank I can take on quite easily if I'm just careful and, and stay out of range. Can't wait to see the final missions. Oh no, the, yeah, me too. They're going to be fun. Not yet. No. We don't need the CO power right now. Oh, we have to. I'm just getting. Lucky star. What's the lucky star song, chat? Isn't there a song? Lucky, st it's an no, no, no. There's a song to be my lucky star. Lonely rolling star. No, it's not that one. I, I know that one.
Rubber Band Man? No, that's a real song as well. Very real and very cool. Man, look at that. Bulletproof strategy right there, chat. I needed to... You know what it is? I needed to get the rust off. Now that the rust is off, we are... We're, we're, we're moving. Look at them. They can't even penetrate. Uh-oh. No, we're good now. Make a bet for the next match if you're so confident. Okay, next match will be flawless. The sex execution will be flawless. medium tank can't get over the mountains. That's why the medium tank doesn't go over the top. The mountains don't seem as obvious. It took me a second to, to remember that, but yeah. So we're going to get the artillery into position in just a second here. We're going to have... The artillery has that range. This, this damn mech is a little bit of a worry. Oops. I thought you could join and then attack at the same in the same turn. Rest up over here, and uh, we're gonna do some fancy footwork over here. All right. They should do uh, Advance Wars: Days of Ruin in this exact style, and just have like insane tonal dissonance. sure how we're going to approach this from here, chat. I think... Maybe, maybe we could lure this dude out. Tank's still not moving. Body block, medium tank, capture HQ. Well, I was hoping to get the... I was hoping to get the tank down here. Still not moving. Check movement range. Oh, I see. Okay, so we gotta... Alright. We have to plan for this. 
Is there a button that just lets you see the range of everything? Oh, there's this. I didn't realize that was a thing. Um, hold B on a unit? No, I mean, like, of everything. Oh, I see. There's the attack range. Okay. We moving? We're moving. You fell for it. You dummy. The oldest trick in the book. You know why I lost the first time? Because I was overconfident and thought it's the first mission. There's no way this is going to be difficult. And I just, I let the enemy lull me into a false sense of security. No time for celebration. Frozen Olaf has medium tanks, then our current tactics won't suffice. Looks like she has any air units ready to... She doesn't have any air units ready to use yet. I mean, gameplay-wise, it's still Advance Wars. Great if you job. can kind of just get used to the art style if you don't like it... It's definitely still Advance Wars, and it's nice to have it back. Though, I kind of... You know, I miss the units from Days of Ruin and um, Dual Strike. Already... I know they weren't, like, much, but, well, Days of Ruin had a lot of different units. Your very own ID tag. This tag will track your accomplishments. As a holder of this tag, you are now authorized to, to access two new modes. Oh, I feel like Samus. You can visit the war room. You can't fight here! This is the war room! Is this worth $60? <laughs> no! Probably not. I'm lucky I can afford things like this and check them out on stream, but, um, this- if Metroid Prime Remaster was 40 bucks, this should be 40 bucks. Andy. Guess he's not gonna give up so easily. It appears that's- you know what? Nintendo really likes to put certain games in a position to fail. Can we defeat Olaf with any any tanks on our own? I pulled some strings and had some helicopter anti-air and missile units sent down to the front lines. It's a tankless job, but somebody's got to do it. It's a good thing they voiced that line. It's important. I mean, it is good that we're getting both one and two included in this. But is this going to attract new fans? I don't know. 40 bucks would definitely sweeten the deal. Examining all of Olaf's units, I think we only have one viable option. Throw everything we've got at him! No, Andy, strategy. We must capture the enemy HQ. Do you need me to explain? No. Yes. No. Yes. 
We really need to distract Olaf for a few days. Put, pay careful attention to the enemy um, battle copters and medium tanks. So this is anti-air. They have a lot of range and they can just absolutely decimate helicopters. Is it really as easy as this, chat? <laughs> like, I almost can't believe that this is a allowed. I know it's only mission number two, but holy shit. Olaf was just about to say the fuck word. Frozen Olaf was about to say some bad words. By the way, if you think about it, his power is winter. He literally summons ice and snow. So he is technically Frozen Olaf. need to do this, do I? But, I mean, maybe I'll get a higher gamer score if I do. Yes, AA is very good at destroying foot soldiers, correct. It's true, this is original Olaf. Frozen Olaf came after this Olaf. And came a lot, too. Just like me, for real, for real. I see in chat right now. <laughs> well, I hope you bet on me for mission two because that, that was bappy mode. Yeah. No, this smells like one of your schemes. This isn't over yet. Nell the smell. You knew your troops couldn't weather a direct assault, so you pulled this out of your hat. You sure are a quick study. Let's try another one. Whoa. It's all coming back to you, isn't it? No doubt my lessons helped jog your memory. Advance Wars coins. Please let me buy Advance Wars Hi coins there. with real money. My name's Hachi, and I run the one and only Hachi Shop. Those Advance Wars coins you got? Well, I deal in them. I exchange for those. You can buy all sorts of neat stuff. Battle maps, collectibles, and more. Come buy something. Olaf may finally be taking us seriously. We've nearly pushed him out of Alara entirely, although he defeated our troops en route to the Lost Fortress. Uh. Lost Fortress? Oh no, we'll never find him now! I know Olaf's forces are laying in wait for us in the fog of war, but I managed to secure some units to root him out. Uh. I see. Wait, no, actually, I can't see anything. What are we doing again? <laughs> Locating Olaf's troops and pushing them out of Alara. Let's go. I want to, um, 
see what stuff I can buy. Hey, a customer. Welcome. Come back again now. Ooh. So these are maps. There are a million maps in this game. Special case bonus capes. A uh, case capes? What? Considering there's a um a map editor, yeah, you could just you could just make everything you want. You know it's funny, you could even make these maps. <laughs> you could just make them if you don't want to buy them. You just like find a picture of them. Don't get me. I once made a map in the original Va Advance Wars that was like a mini version of the United States. But, yeah, it was such an easy editor. You know, you can just kind of Yeah, you can just make easy, easy, quick maps. Even better. Now that's design. See? Uh, there's also a river. I'm sorry, is this not a river? Oh, you have to go through here. Okay, so yeah, the fact that it's C, units can't go through it. But like, you can go through, here's like a reef. Um, red HQ is here. cities and like um you do blue moon here and then uh you could do like various cities along the way uh Maybe we can, um... Make some of these neutral cities. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm pressing a lot of the wrong buttons. And, uh, yeah, now you have a small little map to play on. And I guess from here, it would be just a matter of... Fucking... Stop! 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 I'll get the buttons eventually. This is one of those maps where you can, um... You know, you just have to, like, get in there. Maybe that's all the units you have, and then... It, it could be a quick map, this one. Throw infantry here, you can throw, like, an artillery here. You can put, uh... 
Where is it? Anti-air. Like, here. And here. I don't know, this is probably a really poorly designed map, but... I'm having fun doing it. I'm not gonna give them a mid-tank, though, because that would be... That would probably make it a little too difficult. They have less units, but they have more choke points. And that's it. Map is done. Someone said I would not buy this land on the metaverse. Fucking hell. What am I calling this map chat? Give blue a jet? Nah. Atlas or okay. I, I hate that chat is doing this, but you know what? This is my fault, and I accept the responsibility here. I'm going to name it Atlas Earth. Oh, you can change the water color for some reason, I guess. Cool, okay. How do you play the map? You have to go into versus mode. Brilliant. It was up top. Let's just not play it and say we did. I'm. You know what? I'm gonna do the uh, cool thing to do, which is just never test it. Maybe I'll upload it, and if someone wants to try it, you can you can give it a shot. But I'm just not. I'm never gonna play. I'm never gonna play test it. It may not even be beatable. How do I upload it, chat? I want to upload it. No friends detected. Wait, you, you can only receive maps from friends? I can't, like, add this to some kind of, like, um... Metaverse? Oh, man. That's so lame. That's so lame. I get that Nintendo is afraid of Shvastikas, but come on. Do you have to test it first? What are we spending this money for? A, $60 on the game, B, whatever it is for Nintendo Switch Online chat. Yeah, I mean, it could be a dick-shaped map, but land is dick-shaped sometimes, chat. Listen, Mario... What was it? Mario 3D World had a dick in one of the castles. Do you remember that? In Mario 3D World? It was in a castle world. A, a, there was a peep. Why, are, why is Nintendo afraid of penises? so lame. If anyone figures out a way to, like, upload that to some server, there's not- it's not real. That's not real. Never mind. I guess you just have to recreate my map exactly.
There's a Kickstarter for a game. I mentioned it. I, f I always forget the name of it, but it looks just like Advance Wars to the point where it's almost like a little uh-oh, as Nell just said. But I'm sure that will have online. Warside, it's called. It's too close to Advance Wars, truthfully. But there's new units, and there's probably better online functionality. Just saying. Nintendo's like, yeah, set the game up to fail. We don't need more Advance Wars games, and then we shall blame the consumer like we did with Star Fox Zero. No one bought that game, and therefore, we will not make Star Fox anymore. Yeah. War is so mysterious. Do you need me to explain? Someone in chat just said, shut the fuck up and play. Their name is Autism Unleashed. Wow. Got the... Got the fun chat members here tonight. Sorry, today. Amazing. Great. Just remember that we can use mountains for extra visibility. We should always check woods for hidden enemy units. What's going on today, Chad? I just want to play and make fun of my game that I bought $60 for. Okay, so, uh, Fog of War maps. Y you have to scout a little bit. So we're gonna do that. So we got a, a tank here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Luckily, we had rockets. They have rockets too, but we're injuring their rockets. The, for me, a really nice touch, and one of the things I like the most about the game is I like the remixes of the music, and I especially like the, um... When you go into combat, the music, like, changes a little bit. I think that, that's a, a nice feature. Someone said, Vinny, which Clash of Clans spin-off is this? Wow. It's not the one with the foot fungus, that's for sure. Nice. Nice rockets. tip, you get more CO points for shooting medics trying to help the wounded. Ah, oh, thanks, man. That's a good tip. Just remember, everyone, war is fun! These, um, jeeps can actually do a little bit of damage, too. They're pretty good. Against regular infantry. They do what they need to do.
I, I like how they just get flo like flung back. It kind of reminds me of that one scene in Django Unchained. FR, FR. I gotta stop saying that. That's, you know what? That one's chat's fault. That one, no, that one's the internet's fault. The fury of nature. Blizzard. Like, I know they were sitting on this game for a year, but maybe they could have, like, spent a little bit of time implementing some better online features. Though I, I don't think they actually really even wanted to. Damn Russian winter. I mean blue blue moon blue moon winters. Rockets. Okay, rockets are bad. Okay. Uh oh. Hmm. We have to find the last rocket launcher. The last Mimsy, even. The only reason I know about that movie is because there, Roger Waters did a song for it. I remember on the classic rock station, they were playing that song a lot, and they kept saying, and this is a song from Roger Waters, um, for the movie The Last Mimsy. And I'm like, Mimsy, please! Punish them with the CO power. I mean, I can't even find the, the last thing I need to destroy. I'll do that, yeah, once I get that, I'll do it. Vinny, I'm sorry, but you are playing so badly, I'm losing considerable lifespan. See you later. I'm about to capture the HQ. Wait, don't go. Chat member, perhaps... Are you maybe being a little dramatic? Well, it's not my usual stream time, so... I don't know. I... I maybe, maybe they head off school today. I don't, I don't know. <laughs>
Chad, I have options. I can capture the HQ or I can punish them with my CO power. Okay, I think we know the answer to that question. Someone said the problem is that there are some Advance Wars veteran streamers, and maybe they're expecting you to play as well as they are. All right. I guess that's the, probably the case for every video game, that there's someone out there that plays every video game really, really, really well. It's a problem for me because I'll never live up to those lads. There, is there another unit here somewhere? Apparently so. It, it's hidden. Well done. We've finally driven Olaf out of the Alara region. There's a great deal of work to do, but you've come a long way in a short time, just like Olaf has. I have a feeling that you're ready to handle your own missions from now on. <laughs> We're all still learning, Andy. Advance Wars Andy. I have high hopes for you. Show me what you've got. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, no, this game promotes child soldiers. It does, chat member. You, yeah. Something's not right here. Nell wouldn't leave Orange Star's capital city unguarded, which means a new commanding officer? Ooh, excellent! I've lost a few battles lately, but no more. An Orange Star army without Nell is no match for me. It's time for me to teach this raw recruit what war's all about. Nintendo should pay me for doing the voice acting that they didn't want to hire someone to do fully. <laughs> Note, this is a joke! Note, this is a joke! All right. Andy. Do you read me? No. Is that you? Is this a transceiver? Mm -hmm. That's right, Andy. I'll be using it to contact you from here on out. Since this is your first solo mission, I want to make uh, make myself available in case you need any advice. <laughs> Don't worry about me, Nell. <laughs> this mission's gonna be a piece of cake. I can't wait to murder some people oh. under my command. Love this music. In that baseline. Still can't make units. Fuck the tanks. All right, now we got to figure out what to do up here. Splitting our forces doesn't seem like the wisest. Uh, maybe it's even unwise of me to do so, but... I might preempt this tank here.
Did I put the mech in range? What button is that? Oh yeah, that is. Wow. Chat members, you have my permission if you need to leave. Like, if, if, um, if, <laughs> if I'm so unwise that my tactical decisions are, are quite bad, then yeah, you have my permission. Man. My A A is being destroyed. Sorry to jet, but I've got to go. Take this tank. Start damaging this infantry unit. Can't really do much against AA. There we go. Oh, nice number. Nice number. That blue soldier is silly. Did that AA tank down there just sign its own death sentence? Hmm. If only there was a way to, uh, get rid of this and then get over here, too. Because that can attack my medium tank, and I don't like that. Let me focus up top first. And concentrate, concentrate. Which is what orange juice is made from. Can you play as Corporal Clegg in this game? Does anyone know? He had a wooden leg. No one's gonna get a fucking rare Pink Floyd song reference. This is when, when people are like, Vinny makes Boomer references, yep. A song off their second album that nobody ever bought or knows about. Yeah, not that one. Just gonna keep things kind of copacetic down there.
Yeah, we're, we're just gonna... We're just gonna leave that for this for the moment. That damn winter. Move Artie up behind truck, finish enemy Artie. Could do. Could do. It's too late now, but it could do. Could have done. Could have done. Got a little bit of damage there. Not a lot of damage. This is troubling. That's a, that's a troubling thing. I should have kept those tanks back. How close are we? Uh, we're, we're close, but not quite close enough. Andy. Now we can get a nice heal. Time for a, Time for a tuna! Hyper repair. I almost don't want to attack them in the winter, but we gotta get the HP down on this tank. Alright. Okay. What do we got here? Fine by me. This, not so much. I don't think it's gonna do too much damage, though. Two, one. Is this gonna be enough range? Damn it, these things don't really have enough range. Uh, that's alright, that's an easy enough destroy. Someone just said this game makes me want to enlist. Good for you, bro. Let's go over there, find a war. And you know what? If you play video games these days, you don't even really need to be on the ground. You just need to know how to use a controller. It's like, it's like playing Flight Simulator or Doom or something. Uh-oh! That's a problem. Can I take that out? Nope. Oh, fuck. Alright, we're, we're really gonna get in here now. We gotta get in here. Chat, we gotta get in here. Damage is not enough here. Uh, I'm taking out the mech. You know what? This is acceptable losses.
we're, we're well within acceptable parameters. But something is going to get destroyed. Probably that light tank. Oh, well, for a different reason. Yeah. Oh, it went for my fucking APC? Alright, well, we can... Just remove you from the mortal coil real quick. Get artillery, idiot. Mm. Try something. No, that didn't work. That, that something did not work. Okay. You know what? I'm going to use the MP the MPC, the APC as bait. But they have a uh have an another rocket. Which I could get kind of close. Heal this up. That's definitely going to attack the mech. But I think next turn I can get over there and destroy that. If these units don't act annoying, and they will. They will. some infantry here. Okay. This unit is in the way. Which means my tank can't get over there to destroy this. So we still have that <clears throat> to deal with. But I can do this. damage does this do? 34. Um, I'm going to do it. The sacrifice must be made. Some would say the ultimate sacrifice. But now that rocket launcher is fairly useless. And... This is, uh, this medium is in range of my artillery, so that, that's very good. Kind of push ahead and sacrifice a unit or two, but I think it'll be worth it. Chat wants Vinny to go to boot camp just to study on military tactics. That's kind of the nature of this type of game, though. People are always going to have, like, they're, they're going to always have some criticism or judgment about the way someone plays because they see a better strategy or they know the game really well. 
I would say I'm used to it. It still sucks a little bit, but... I'm just playing the game and not reading those messages that much. I mean, I read a couple fun ones earlier. Got those out of the way, at least. I like fun messages. Alright. Medium tank. Destroying light tank. That, that's helpful. It's not in range. Okay, so we can do this. Let's try to get rid of this fucking rocket launcher. It's really annoying. And done. Okay. The light tank will be a sacrifice. Dude, it's too late. Your snow isn't going to win this. Blizzard. Okay, that, that's going to suck a little bit. Down to one unit there. Good timing on the power. Child soldier! Go, Darzar, go! The club remix we got here of the song. percent damage fuck off medium tank is is humping the base which means it's going to continue to heal so that's that's a, a minor inconvenience I'm just gonna finish this guy off. I'll take that out of context. Vinny, where are my VODs at? YouTube.com slash Vine Sauce Full Sauce. Please keep in mind, Twitch, it keeps disabling automatic VOD publishing. And if you are looking for a VOD, just go to the Full Sauce channel on YouTube. I know that's like a couple extra steps, but at least those will still be published. YouTube doesn't have last night's stream. They won't until it won't until a couple hours from now, but it will. 
I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Once again, this is something I wish we could avoid. I lost it! You... The Orange Star Army must be getting desperate to send such an inexperienced COs onto the battlefield. You mean babies? Experienced enough to get the best of you. Be that as it may, it takes a lot to best me. I'll remember you, mark my words. How can I mark your words? I don't even know your name. My name? I am known throughout the Orange Star Army as... <laughs> Nell's grandpa? That's right, Nels. Wait, what? No! What get for being nice to children? No respect! Ugh. You just watch yourself, little boy. So that's Olaf, huh? Just let it go. Where is that lazy good for nothing? Easy there. I, I heard, heard you the first time, oh bearded one. Oh. Bearded one? <laughs> Why you? <laughs> Slip of the tongue. Do accept my apologies, Commander. <laughs> That's right, a cowboy has partnered with Olaf Frozen Cummies. Enough, just get ready to move out and listen carefully. Our in star forces have been deployed precisely where I anticipated. Sure thing. Well, good. All that time spent spying on them from the inside. I sure hope you know what they're up to. Their commanding officer is an untested youngster with a smart mouth, but don't let your guard down. Our contingent in the area has some indirect combat units for you to use. Now get going, Mr. Sharpshooter! Hang on there. You want me to go personally? Like, in person? Mm. Are you lazy no good? You, what do you think a commanding officer does if you don't get moving? Mm. All right, keep your beard on. I don't much like the idea, but I'm going. He's a good marksman. We can make our own units now. Mm -hmm. What's up now? You've been given the authority to use bases to deploy new units onto the field. I've got this. So these are how you make new units. Oh, the the lead lines are removed when you're in bases. Okay. That's gonna get kind of weird. Like, you're listening to the music, you're chilling, and then... Like, hey, where'd the mu- where'd all the other parts of the music go? Anyway, we're gonna, um, focus on capturing those bases so we can make awesome lots of spit of units I fight for these folks just don't sit well with me as I'll just mosey out and out and see what happens just casually commit a bunch of murder awesome spit Andy. What's going on, Nell? We just learned that Grit is the opposing CO. He's an indirect fire expert whose attack range exceeds the standard distance. Worse, his range gets even bigger when he's using his CO power. Make sure you check Grit's attack range throughout the battle. Keep a safe distance. We used to be close friends. Anyway, that's all I had to tell you. Nell out. Uh-oh. 
Nell was getting some of that gratussy. Nell sure hung up in a hurry. Did I say something to offend her? That would be unwise. Does anyone remember how um, certain programs would have unwise.exe, which was the uninstaller? That was just the name of the uninstaller. I guess I have to just try to overwhelm them with, um, with units, just infantry, just as much as possible, and just keep sending infantry. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, possum spit. Is there a rewind function? Okay, I don't know how I feel about that. It's nice to have it, but on some level... That's a little, um... I know Fire Emblem has that implemented, but in a limited capacity. Which I feel makes it a little bit more... acceptable. A lot more units to manage in advanced war is easy to make one mistake. Yes. Yeah, that's true. I don't mind it. I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to use it once in a while. Just after, you know, not fully studying the battlefield. Here we go. We got an all-out infantry war up north. Now, chat, you can't merge units and then attack on the same turn, right? No. Well, Operation Overwhelm begins now. I have enough to build a, uh, I'm build some rockets. I'm gonna throw rockets up there. Maybe that'll help. That's nice. Destroy the jeeps with your guns. You can do it. I mean... Visually, this kind of does remind me of Battalion Wars a little bit, which was an Advance Wars spin-off, kind of, on the GameCube and Wii. Which, as I've said, I was really looking forward to those games, both of them. And I played a little bit of them, maybe played the first 30 to 40% of each one, maybe 50%, and then it just lost me. For some reason. Like, both games. They're good, but for some reason just did not stick. I even tried streaming it years ago and, it, and I also gave up on it, so I don't know.
Hell yeah, rockets. The problem is, I have to fire from the base. Which means this base cannot produce a unit this turn. That's fine. I think it's worth it. There we go. That should be enough units up here. Yeah, they're, they're gonna be able to capture those pretty painlessly in just a minute. Which means, I can start pumping out some medium tanks now. These are a problem. Those are a problem. Right, we, we have to, like, bust through their defenses somehow. Uh. Got the feeling this won't be no Sunday stroll. Yeah, we can't make air units, otherwise this would be a whole lot easier. But we can just keep mech spamming and medium tank spamming. Easy enough. I just saw cows. I didn't realize there were, like, other visuals aside from, like, one thing. I saw cows. I guess we could kind of save up. If we just medium tank the fuck out of them, that would be... That would be really good. Throw a mech down, though. Alright, no movement. I felt like right there, that was like Ninja on New Year's Eve. So we'll load this up. Hmm. Yes. I see. moving up, chat. We're doing it. We're moving up. Oh, dear. It's gonna be a long battle. Scummy. That is very scummy. Very scummy. Rockets there too, right? They can reach because this dude's got severe range. Wow, that was a lot scummier than I thought it would be, in fact, even.
There's a chat fight. <laughs> Bro, just close the chat. Like, walk away from the screen. Chat is wild today, what the fuck? Again, this isn't my normal stream time, so there, it could be that. I don't even know what the chat fight is. I, I, I'm just enjoying the game here. Well, complaining and also enjoying. But yeah, you know, generally it's, it's, listen, it's Advance Wars. They didn't fuck up the gameplay and it's still fun. So I'm happy. Sorry to have People are taking this shit seriously, freaking about how war is bad, when it's literally toy soldiers. Don't tell them about Call of Duty. Like, whatever you do, do not tell them about Call of Duty. Or any game with a gun in it. Or war movies. Um, Saving Private Ryan. I mean... Yeah, I don't know if, that, if that's the chat fight. That's a bizarre one. Let's not talk about chess. Oh, no, no, don't talk about chess. Also, I'm getting my ass handed to me right now, chat. I don't like it. Uh, I don't know if we're going to heal up just yet. Do that. Just look at that fucking range. Again, that range is because of the CO power, though, so it's not too bad. use an APC and a mech. Um, I'm gonna not use my power just yet. 2%. I know. That's a kind of milk. I don't really know what to do with these units over here, chat, because they're just gonna get their asses handed to them. And uh, this one. Fuck. I'm just going to ignore this tank and just keep pushing. Yeah, yeah, attack them. Excellent. Operation Human Shield is working just fine. Vinny, are you going to play the new Dead Island? Um... If I do, it's gonna be pre-records with uh, mods. I'm pretty sure. I got it. Listen, I got a code for it, and uh, I'm minimally interested. But considering we finished the Sons of the Forest, it might be a cool game to co-op once in a while, if it's any good. Which it seems to be. Like 8.0 type game. It's like one of those. That dude is just like body blocking this tank. 
You're in here with me! Alright, well... Here comes the punishment. That is quite helpful. That'll do a little bit of damage, and then maybe we can have some infantry get in there and, and shave off a couple numbers. Fuck. Misclick. Wait, is that really Ash's original voice actor? I thought it just sounded like... Oh, it is! That's nice. Actress. Yeah. That's awesome. Veronica Taylor? Continue trying to brute force my way through this. This is a bad choke point. I can afford many tanks. some of these units on um, better defended tiles. Get him! Get him! Someone just said being a Pokemon champion does not disqualify Ash for the draft, unfortunately. <laughs> Man, my writers are on point today. It's a good thing these are just like toys and not it's not real war or anything but i mean I, I would imagine most people know the difference you'll get there eventually buddy you just keep capturing that building i i swear you're gonna get there it's gonna be glorious be a good distraction. Yeah, the infantry units do a little bit of damage against these. It's helpful because, again, a unit with weaker HP, with less HP, does less damage, so it's, it's worth it. Oh, we got this.
This is a fun mission. Grit, you're gonna don't use that, but off. you don't have any units. Snipe attack. Well, gosh darn it. Hoping that mech would take out the tank, but we can we can take care of this real quick. That'll do ya. Let's see if I just want to see if this can happen. I just want to see. It happened. You'll get there, buddy. Just keep going. Just keep going. Do it. This will be an interesting matchup. They got a few rockets off. You got it, buddy. You did it. Well done. That's the biggest success story in this entire game. Hey there, Junior. Nice shooting. You just killed a bunch of my units. Hundreds dead. Don't call me Junior. I have a name. It's Ash. I mean, Andy. That's the spirit. Y'all are new to the Orange Star Army, right? Maybe. But how would you know that? <laughs> well, no, that's because I'm grit. I was beholden to Orange Star not too long ago myself, so I'm pretty familiar with most of the military well. types. Well, y'all beat me this time. Who knows? Maybe we'll see each other on the flip side. So long, Junior. I mean, me junior. I will be honest, the, the dissonance is, is humorous of like what the game looks like and some of the dialogue and the actions in the game, because look at like the visuals and the style. And then you, you like, if you really think about it for a couple of minutes, it's like, oh, I see. But even Banjo in Banjo Kazooie, he's like, Bull! and he's just stepping on those fucking broccolis and they die. The broccolis die. They don't have a family anymore, those broccolis, because they're dead. Hey! And then he like fucking pecks um, a carrot with his with his companion's beak. Crazy. Video games in and of themselves. Well, no. You just don't what want to think about it for too long, because those Goombas also probably had family. Same for Koopas. Koopas. Anyway, chat, I, I hate to say this, but I gotta get going. How interesting. I know this was a relatively short early stream. I just wanted to check out the game for two hours. And you know what? Here is my current feeling about this game. I have issues mostly with the online, meaning lack of options and map uploading to a server would have been really great. So that's not there. I have issues with the art style to a degree. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I feel you get used to it. It's just kind of somewhere in the middle for me. It's fine, but it's, you know, the pixel art was so good. 
Um, gameplay is intact. It's still Advance Wars. It's still a lot of fun. So, I mean, is it worth 60 bucks? I don't, I don't really think it is, truthfully, but uh, it might be for you. Nintendo has a habit with some of these ancillary um, properties that they have that people love of just shooting themselves in the foot and not giving these games the chance they deserve. And unfortunately, I kind of feel like that's happening here. Part of it is also um, the fact that the game was delayed for reasons and, you know, there's probably not a whole lot of advertising done for the game. I saw a couple videos on YouTube about it. But it's Advance Wars, it's, it's here. Um, and uh, it's not bad. I think some people are going to love it, and some people are going to want more from it. All I want is a new Advance Wars. Like, a brand new one. If they're going to do this style, just take it further. And uh, that would be fine. But anyway, thank you for watching. And I don't know if I'll be streaming more of it. I might play some more on my own. Maybe pre-records, I'm not sure. But I'm definitely going to be playing it... Um, whether or not I finish the campaign is a different story, but I'm going to be playing more of it. So uh, anyway, I hope all of you have a really good day. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And I, I hope you all um, succeed in life and, and have happiness and joy. And, and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye. Hello, chat members. It is I, chat member, here to remind you to go subscribe to the Vine Sauce YouTube channel. We can reach 1 million subscubs. Did you know Vinny will perform his fame house self suck if we reach that goal? Kapusi will also make an appearance as a ghost. Ok, maybe in Lean, but in a chat member, why would you lie in to create a chat fight while you also bring vash in you? Sub now, sub now, sub now. Thank you, Hexen, for this cursed piece of media. Good night. Goodbye.